Fire you! Let me put a bell around you people. Now yeah, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here in the liberal exclusion zone. Well, I'll answer that question, but um, not in the open. Let's uh, get over here next to this uh, pond. Hello there. I welcome you to the Liberal Exclusion Zone, Tennessee Sector. You probably wonder what a Liberal Exclusion Zone is. Well, to put it bluntly, after, Trump, after two years of Trump, the Liberals finally got fed up with it, seeing that their way wasn't working, so they created a walled-off area of the state. Or at least states, from my understanding. There are other Liberal Exclusion Zones. California excluded, of course. And here is where the highest concentration of lawlessness, stupidity, ignorance, and moronacy is here. I guess that's why a lot of us like to come to these zones, just to fuck with them. Yes, you'll never find a place of more lawlessness and criminal activity than the liberal exclusion zone. Of course, you do need a gas mask for all the toxicity, because, ironically enough, you think radiation's bad. The toxicity here is actually worse. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot, it's a lot worse than Fukushima and Chernobyl combined. It's pretty bad. Well, I came in here, of course, not... Damn trees. Always trying to... I told you, I don't want to cuddle! Some of the plant life has kind of absorbed some of their, um... Yeah. But, don't worry folks, I didn't come in here ill-prepared. I actually brought... An... M4! You gotta be careful what you say around here, because ironically enough, you say something too loud that... They don't like, and you'll be swarmed by the radicals and mutants alike. But anyway, this is the GNG combat machine M4 AEG. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't I bring a real gun? Okay, that was close. Well, reason for that is because because of how thin-skinned these folks are, this thing actually penetrates and kills them. No joke. So, I brought this in here because, one, it's a good, reliable, rugged thing like, of course, a Kalishnikov. And, two, because I've been meaning to talk about this for a while now, and the fact of not used to, this would be around $100, even under $100. But nowadays, in 2019, it's not exactly cheap anymore. At least for the common man, it's not cheap. It's now roughly around $120 to get one of these things. I know to a lot of airsofters that doesn't seem much, but to some people, that's a lot of money. It really is. Even trying to find them on eBay a little cheaper than that, you'll find them roughly 100 or even 110 That's wood shipping and handling. Well, yes, that might not seem much to you again. That's a lot to some people. Anyway, why don't we take a step around this way and actually talk about this in detail, shall we? But the GNG, yeah, is a nice little polymer metal constructed gun. Okay, good. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna go AEG, because I'm afraid if I say that word one more time, I might get swarmed. Anyway, it comes with, of course, your standard... Imp <clears throat> your standard... Yeah, Armalite stock. A metal buffer tube. Wired to Tamiya's front wire, of course. A polymer handguard, which is the uh, classic style from the Mojave, of course. Which, that's why I actually got this. I got this from the Mojave. And... To complement GNG, the detailing on the magwell, I absolutely love. This is very nice. I even love that it says 6mm pellet AEG, semi system, and it just says, yeah, it, it's just beautiful detailing, I really do. And I even love that they put more of that in there, including made in Taiwan, or the Republic of China, the real China. Okay, we're good. It does come with 14mm negative threading. And, well, it's just that nice. It comes, of course, with your standard handle, your very nice, simple flip sights, which is standard with all Armalite rifles. Either way, though, I came in here with a mission. I brought this with me because, well, I heard there's a downed aircraft from the Russian Federation from a settlement not too far away from here. I went to that settlement looking for supplies, and they gave me information instead, along with taking some of my caps. Damn you, Sidorovich! There you sell me crap weapons. I go in there finding pistol, I buy Makarov, next thing I know Makarov breaks down the middle of firefight. It's ridiculous. 
Anyway. Right, well, enough gabbing. Let's keep moving. Now, you're probably wondering, why would I want to use this gun? Why would I want to buy this gun? Well, this gun is great stock. Yes, that's the thing about GNG, is that they are very good stock. They have great performance, great everything, and that's just how they are. Yes, you may go with the good old-fashioned, oh, I want to go with a SEMA. I want to go with this. I want to go with that. I want to go crytack. Well, back in the day, before the price hiking of everything, you could actually afford really nice stuff. Yes, yeah, say what you will about SEMA, they're still good and they still have good prices. Say what you will about G&G, they're still good, they still got good prices. And well, it's kind of how they are. Oh, hello there. Look at me, a backpack. This will increase my carry weight. Actually, how much this will increase my carry weight? I'm going to need my glasses of appraisal. Yeah. I got my bag. Fuck it. Here we go. Yeah. <sighs> didn't know I had the glasses of appraisal, did you? Maybe because you didn't ask. Right, enough of that. Let's appraise this backpack. All right. This backpack will increase my carry weight by plus 100. Value of the backpack is 150 caps. Well, hot damn, I'll gladly take that. Oh, I feel lighter already. Let's get going. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Al, you obviously don't like AR AR-15s. Why do you suddenly like this one? Well, here's the thing. The reason I like this is because it's based off a tried-and-true classic AR Armalite. Almost had me saying that. Second time, didn't you? And be careful. Well, the biggest reason why I like this is because, well, again, it's based off a classic and tried-and-true design from Vietnam. This thing right here is a combat machine. It is a tried-and-true worker of the Mojave and the NCR. The true NCR. And well, to my brothers out there in California who are fighting, I wish you luck. And I hope your, ar uh, your armor lights help you get through it. But yes, that's the thing, folks. In life, you have to know when you love a classic. And don't get me wrong, I love the whole tacticalness of it, but that's just me. That and the armor light platform is a very modular platform, very combat effective platform. And that's just how it is. Get down! You're probably wondering why I'm still wearing these glasses. Well, here's the thing about the glasses of appraisal. They also have a side effect of proximity detection. And I detected someone coming from that direction. Switching our aperture to precision shooting. Let's see who's been knocking at our door. It's just a, a liberal bandit. No, it's a mutant. Mutants don't use guns, meaning he's going to bludgeon me to death if I don't take him out first. Thankfully, I'm not seeing a pack with him. Those things travel in packs. So, let's check the backpack and see if we got anything to handle this quietly. Let's see here. Pink suppressor. Suppressions noise by plus 80, however, does negative 30 range plus negative 20 accuracy. Son of a bitch. Oh well. I'll only need it for this one thing. Right, let's take him out. All right. So you're pr 
prayers, Mutie. This shit final day on Earth. <laughs> I love my job. All right, let's go loot the corpse. That's the beauty of modularity, is that, well, yes, I'm able to use this. There's probably a lot, there are other things that can actually go on it. And I do mean other things that can go on it. Speaking of which, let's see what this poor bastard has. All right, let's see what you got. Ooh, thank you for your ammo. Can't believe you actually had this, my dude. Not so much check. These magazines were illegal here in the zone, but, um... And again, lawlessness and all that. But uh, I thank you for your contribution to my armory, my ammo consumption. Let's see what else you got. Seriously? Fucking iron sight? Glasses of appraisal will do your job. Well, a more compact version of the standard carry rail sight. This site allows you to get a little bit more plus two accuracy. Oh, fuck that. I'm putting that back. Huh. Well, this is appraisal. Well, a more Picatinny style rail is better than none. This rail allows you to add more attachments than usual, allowing you to have more to plus five mobility. God damn, my dude. And plus two tacticalness. Of course, there's that kind of bullshit. All right, then. Well, I'm seeing you back here, then. All right, let's see what you got. Huh. A tried and true Russian design, the AK Flash Hider allows you to have increased velocity Increased accuracy and increased range due to the design of the chamber. Uh, glasses of appraisal. What are we looking at stat wise? You know, I think I'm going to stick this on my gun. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. I mean, anyway, thank you, my dead friend, and uh, your death will not be in vain, and all your shit is going to be used to good use. Bye bye. Right, now with my improved Armalite, we can now continue on with our quest. The quest for the downed aircraft from Russia, which, if according to my compass is correct, should be, uh, that away. Let's go. I'm not going through there. Fuck you, I ain't going through there. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Mm, no, mm, 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 no. Way too many places for an ambush. Instead, let's go down this path of the friendly pond. I mean, come on. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That way looks a lot more safer and much better than, than going through that. No, no. Let's go this way. There's no way anyone would ambush us this way. I, I, I can assure you of that. You see, this play this way is so much better, so much better. Anyway, let's continue on the other way, shall we? So what was in? Oh yes, with the modularity of the Armalite platform, you can definitely say for a fact that there is something a little better than most. And I do mean that. It's actually a really good rifle. Huh? What I say? That way is so much more clear. And I'll show you by going through there without even having my weapon at the readiness. sniper come from? Oh, come on, don't tell me this is one of those crazy assholes. Right, well, that means I get to use my scope attachment.
What, do you think I was going to stick with those standard Picatinny? Hell no, I knew I had something better in my backpack. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what an ultimate fighting and fighting combat machine looks like with the Magpul MOE plus the Magpul MOE grip right here. The improved accuracy of my gun plus its reliability, mobility, and modularity has increased by 25. That's right, plus 10 on com plus 10 on grip with the Magpul MOE, plus 10 grip with the MOE ang angle four grip, plus five accuracy with it, with the grip, equals to a total of 25. Anyway, let's see if we can find this son of a bitch. Oh, wait. Might as well switch out to a better magazine, too. Because why not? Alright. Let's see if I see that son of a bitch. <laughs> yep, yep, nope, nope, nope. I see him, I see him. So over there, directly across in those trees. With my gloves off, I can get a better steady aim because I'd rather feel my gun with my actual hands than actually have it feeled through gloves. Right, well. I see you, you son of a bitch. You think you can hide up in those trees? Nah, motherfucker, I see you. I see you. Son of a bitch. That, my friends, is the performance of this thing stock. Probably if you can see the actual distance of it. Actually, you know what? Why not? Not that way is nothing but wasteland. Why not show off the distance of this thing with the hop-up tune just right? With the desolate wasteland out this way, I can actually show you guys the max distance of this bad boy. So, flipping into the semi-automatic with point twos in the magazine, let's actually see how far she shoots. We can actually see it's reaching out beyond a hundred feet. This thing is a beast of its own right. And believe me, stock, it's great for any player. However, the price tag is still a bit BS, but you know what, that's just how it is. And the FPS of it, well, averages around below 350. I say below 350 because, well, this thing here is over two years old. This has been my collection for two years, and because of it, stock, it was getting around 350-ish. Then again, it kind of depends on which one you get. This one's the CQB model. There are outdoor models that actually do have higher FPS, but the one I have is mostly CQB, so that's just how it is. Either way, though, let's go ahead and hear stuff, because according to my compass, the crashed plane is that away. See the plane now. It's Russian, all right. Looks like one of their newer models. I can't believe they're copying planes from Fallout 4. That's that's kind of weird. But, hey, if it works for a game, it must work in real life. Am I right? All right, well, let's get going. If I had to give the gun a final rating, I know you guys are asking me this. Well, I'm not in the studio, I will say this. The gun itself gets no more, no less, than a 9 out of 10. The gun is a must-own. And you're probably thinking, oh, you should be afraid, you might attract more of them. No, we're too deep in the zone. I haven't seen, besides the sniper that tried getting me, I haven't seen any more of those, I haven't seen any bandits, no mutants, no nothing. It's like they're staying away from this for some reason. Either way, though, it's a 9 out of 10. It's a must-own. Do I have problems with it? One or two things. One, the price tag. G&G, &G, lower the price tag a bit. Please, I'm begging you. Before, it was only $100. Now you're asking $120 for this? Don't get me wrong. It's a good gun. It's great. It's beautiful. It's perfect. 
thought I heard something there for a second. Hell, the modularity of this thing is obvious. Hell, give us a Magpul exclusive one. Give us an MOE exclusive one. If you're going to charge more than $100, give us a little bit more. Like an actual working dust cover, because the one that just stayed on here, and yes, it stayed on here, I basically pulled it off because I was getting tired of having to get my nail in there and my na knife in there and just pull it down. I just pulled it off. Hell, it doesn't exactly have a working charging handle, but even then, it's still a good gun. It really is. The majority of the rest of it's just minor nitpicks, but even then, stock, it's a good gun. Either way, though, thank you all for joining me. As always, I've been Airsoft Owl. And if you'll excuse me, I've got a plane to search. What the hell? Was so valuable in here, I had to fucking shoot off a lock. <laughs> Glory, greatest country indeed. Hot damn. You're coming with me, little guy. You're coming with me. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al. I'm going to get the hell out of the zone here because I just got a nice little gift from my buddies over in Russia. Tagging. I'll tell you what, it made these bad boys go off the fucking charts in terms of appraisal. So you're definitely going to expect a review. Anyway. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al. I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get the hell out of the zone. I ain't staying here no longer.